Today, we are going to be doing a few tests to figure out which is the fastest car in GTA 5 Online. There is a lot of speculation to figuring out which one is truly the fastest. Some people say it's one car, some people say it's another car, and then some people say it's some other really random car that everybody knows is not the fastest. Today, we are taking the fastest vehicles that we know of in GTA 5 Online, and we are going to be seeing which one is truly the fastest. I hope you enjoy, and let's get into it. In 10th place on this list is going to be the Apocalypse Future Shocker Nightmares ZR380. It reaches a top speed of 128 miles per hour, which is pretty fast, but it's not extremely fast. I'm not 100% sure if any of the modifications on this vehicle add weight to it or not. I don't believe it does. I've done tests before about adding things to vehicles and if they actually reduce the speed or increase the speed in terms of the cosmetic items that you could put on the vehicle. But from the test I performed, they don't actually affect it whatsoever. So I don't think anything actually affects the vehicle in terms of its top speed or its acceleration if you add weight and all the other modifications that this car has. But it is in 10th place on this list at a top speed of 128 miles per hour. By the way, if you guys play any of the games shown on screen, be sure to check out Digazani down below in the description and get 10% off anything you order by using code FROLIX. Number 9 on this list is going to be the Scramjet. It reaches a top speed of 128 miles per hour without the boost, making it number 9 on this list. The reason why it's number 9 and not number 10 is because when you actually do use the rocket boost on this vehicle, it can reach a top speed of 148 miles per hour, which is the second fastest on this list. But we're not basing it off of rocket boost, we're basing it off of just solely the engine power of the vehicle. And this vehicle can go up to a top speed of 128 miles per hour, which is not too impressive, but then again, when you're using the scramjet or the vigilante or the rocket voltic or vehicles like that they are much faster with the rocket boost obviously but without them they really aren't as powerful as you would think and some other vehicles are actually faster but when you're driving on the road you're obviously going to be using the rocket boost and flying down it but right now we're basing this just off of engine power so it's number nine on this list with a top speed of 128 miles per hour number eight on this list is going to be the vigilante with a top speed of 129 miles per hour without the rocket boost making it the eighth fastest vehicle on this list. With the rocket boost, it can reach a speed of 152 miles per hour, and the reason why it can reach 152, unlike the scramjet with a 148 mile per hour top speed with the boost, is because the boost recharges in about 3 seconds, so you could pretty much just spam the boost over and over, and the highest speed you will possibly be able to get on a flat surface is 152 miles per hour. But like I said, we're not basing it off of rocket boost, and this is the last rocket boost vehicle on this list by the way, so this vehicle falls in the 8th spot with a top speed of 129 miles per hour. Next up is going to be the Coke D10. It's the 7th fastest vehicle in the game with a top speed of 133 miles per hour, which is pretty significant. It is one of the newer vehicles in the game. The downside to this vehicle is that it's not good in terms of handling. If you like drifting, this vehicle is good for that. But in terms of actually racing with it, if you use this car in a race and somebody just hits you very, very lightly, you will spin out 100% of the time, which is one of the biggest downsides to this vehicle. But it is very fast. It can reach the top speed, like I said, of 133 miles per hour, putting it at the seventh spot in GTA 5 Online for the fastest street vehicles. Number six is gonna be the Devast D8. It also reaches a top speed of 133 miles per hour. I don't really know why I put this as number six instead of number seven, just because I guess you can use it in supercar races and most people do supercar races over sports races. I'm not too sure, but it does reach a top speed again of 133 miles per hour, which is a pretty decent top speed. It's not the fastest supercar in the game though. There is one car on this list, which is the fastest supercar in the game, and we'll get to that in just a few minutes. But this car does reach a top speed of 100 133 miles per hour you would think it would be faster since it's based off of a 5,000 horsepower car in real life which we all know is not actually 5,000 horsepower until they show us on the track that it truly is 5,000 horsepower but yeah in the game reaches a top speed of 133 miles per hour that's why it falls at number six on this list. Next up on this list is gonna be the Banshee 900R. It reaches a top speed of 134 miles per hour which is pretty decent but honestly, nobody ever uses it in supercar races, maybe because they have to upgrade it to a Benny's vehicle, or because honestly, it's just not the greatest in terms of anything else, except for the acceleration and top speed, but even the acceleration is just okay or like decent. It's based off of a 2006 Dodge Viper SRT10, 
And honestly, I don't really like the customization of this vehicle. I think it looks really, really ugly and plain, and I think the 2006 Dodge Viper in real life actually looks pretty decent. And I really hope they remake this in-game, a new Dodge Viper. Like, have you guys seen the 2015, 2016 Dodge Vipers? Like, holy shit, they are nice. I want one in real life, but they're so freaking expensive. They're like 100 grand to buy with low kilometers on them. But yeah, in this game, the Banshee 900R reaches a top speed of 134 miles per hour, putting it at number five on this list. Number four on this list is going to be the 811. It reaches a top speed again of 134 miles per hour. It's the second fastest supercar in the entire game. A lot of people love this car and honestly, I love it too. It looks really nice and in game, it's actually pretty decent. The acceleration is amazing on it and it just takes off without doing any burnouts or anything like that off the line, which I love. The only downside, it just doesn't have any customizations, which is why a lot of people don't like it, but a lot of people do like it because then it kind of just looks plain and simple. I would have liked to customize it just a little bit more because literally when you buy it and you upgrade it fully maxed out, it looks almost the exact same as the stock version, which I don't really like, but it is fast. Like I said, second fastest supercar in the game with a top speed of 134 miles per hour, putting it at number four on this list. Now we're getting into the top three. Number three on this list is the Gauntlet Hellfire. It reaches a top speed of 135 miles per hour. That's no surprise. This thing can smoke almost all of the supercars in this game, especially if you double clutch it, and I put air quotations around that because that's what we call it in GTA 5 for some reason. If you double clutch when you're just starting off off the line, the acceleration is amazing. It just flies away and almost all of the supercars won't be able to catch up to it except for a few of them. But this car is amazing, I love it. I have a car like this in real life, obviously not the Hellcat. I have the RT, which I love, hands down, my favorite car I've ever had. And in game, I think it's pretty nice, has tons of customizations you can put on it, and it's super fast, so why would you not love it? Which is why it's number three on this list with a top speed of 135 miles per hour. Number two on this list is going to be the Krager. It has a top speed of 136 miles per hour, the fastest supercar in the game, which is why you see so many people using this car in races. Not only that, but it also has one of the best handlings on any supercar in the game. It's amazing when you're using it in stunt races. The two cars I use most of the time is the Emrys and also the Krager. They're both amazing cars, which is why this car is number two, because it has a top speed of 136 miles per hour, which which is crazy. So if you guys are gonna be doing supercar races, I would suggest picking the Krieger because I think it's amazing in terms of that. But if you want a car for handling, I think the Emrys is a little bit better in terms of handling, but it's not as fast, which is the one downside to the Emrys. But it is still amazing. But the Krieger falls at number two on this list, like I said, with a top speed of 136 miles per hour. And number one is going to be the Pariah. There is no doubts that this car is the fastest car in GTA 5 Online with a top speed of 139 miles per hour. Now, this car is extremely fast, but when it reaches this top speed of 139 miles per hour, it's not the best at handling that top speed which is why you don't see as many people using it in races. Yeah, it's great if you're doing a drag race. It'll smoke everything else, literally everything else. But if you're using it on a track in a stunt race, it will not perform the best. Personally, I like the Juglar. I think that car is amazing, especially for some sports races. You have to go off-road and that thing just slaps, but it's not extremely fast like the Pariah. This is definitely one of the fastest, if not the fastest vehicles in the entire game, but in terms of cars on the street, the Pariah is number one. Like I said earlier, we were judging all of this just off of the sole engine power of these vehicles. If you're counting rocket boosts, then the Vigilante is the fastest, then the Scramjet, then I believe the Rocket Voltic. I'm not 100% sure about the Rocket Voltic, because honestly, it's a Voltic, it's not fast at all, except for the boost, which takes forever to recharge, by the way. So. Technically, the fastest street vehicle in the game is the Vigilante with a top speed of 152 miles per hour. If you guys wanted just the fastest of the fastest, it can literally outrun homing missiles, which is crazy. That's how fast this freaking thing is. But anyways, guys, that is going to wrap up the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, be sure to smash the thumbs up on it. Subscribe if you're new. Take a look in the description to see if there's any videos that you guys want to watch that are down there. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.